That's a very good way of putting it, actually. That is one of the dwarf mongoose's greatest fears, a martial eagle. And as I said that, you can hear some squirrels starting to alarm call at him. He's a truly impressive bird, that, isn't he? Now, that martial eagle, that's M-A-R-T-I-A-L, as in uh, military as opposed to... Um, uh, I don't know, Marshall, what else would you describe it? Somebody who helps you when you're running. And that Marshall Eagle is the biggest eagle that we get here. So it's probably about almost three feet tall, has a wingspan of well over six feet. That one looks a little bit old only because its neck looks so skinny, but I think it's because it's sticking its neck up. You don't want to be caught by a bird like that if you happen to be a squirrel. And I don't know if we can see, I mean, you might be able to get an idea there of the massive talons it has. Now those talons and the tarsal muscles that sort of are able to help it close the talons are extremely powerful. It will drill a hole right through small prey's a skull. So it'll be able to crush the skull of something like a scrub hare. I must say, I think that's a pretty skinny looking bird, to be honest. Doesn't look nearly as well muscled as some of them. is odd. Can't see the squirrel that's alarm calling at it. But if you're a squirrel going about your business during the day and you know you found yourself a nice tree to sit in and to forage in today, if that thing comes and sits in the tree next to you it rather ruins your day I imagine. This is an amazing sighting people. We don't see this all the time. I mean that really is nice. Aaron, you want to know how much bigger than a fish eagle that Marshall eagle is? Well, I'll give you the dimensions exactly. I don't remember them offhand. I'll just quickly check them up on the app. You can hear the squirrel going there. Marshall is exactly 81 centimeters tall, so that's about, um, that's roughly three feet, yeah. Maybe slightly smaller than three feet. Wingspan almost up to eight feet. In fact, more than eight feet in some cases. Now let's find the fish eagle. I'll find it eventually. Come on. Oh, I thought I might find it eventually. Hang on one second. Sorry about this, Aaron. I will get it now. There we go. Fish eagle, 68 centimeters, so it's just about, it's just over two feet. So almost, not quite, so let's say three quarters of a foot or um, three quarters of a foot would be, good grief, how many inches would three quarters of three times four is 12. 12, uh, no, not 12, three quarters, <laughs> nine, nine inches. Nine inches bigger, nine inches taller than a fish eagle. So quite a lot larger. Mm -hmm. Magnificent. Now they will eat squirrels. Their favorite food is actually rock monitors or tree monitor lizards, which they're very good at catching. But they'll take small mammals. Um, I've seen them take a um, small impala once very small impala lamb. Two of them swooped down and took a baby impala. So they're formidable. Now what I'm going to try and do is sneak slowly forward and I'm going to ask Honda to just keep the camera on him in case he flies. And if he flies, what I'll do is just stop the car immediately so you can get a picture of him flying. We have to go past, past him anyway.
If he does fly a clunder, he's going to go left. I say he could easily be a she. Not no sexual dimorphism whatsoever. This is unbelievable that we've got this close to it. Isn't that amazing? Now you get a kind of appreciation of its size, everyone. It's a wonderful bird. There we go. Isn't that impressive? Look at the feathers. He was, look at those talons. Oh, he's going to have a, there he goes. Watch this, everybody. I thought for a minute there he was going to relieve himself. Look, looking, spotted something he might want to eat. Ooh, look at that, that's an angry face. Ooh, we. Isn't that amazing? This is fantastic. This truly is an unbelievable sighting. Now, that head bobbing, yes, it is looking. Oh, look at that. Look. Oh, wow.